Hey y'all, it's Pierre Bot, and we are here with next week's events, and the theme is going to be North America Week. It is going to start on Wednesday, June 28th, and go through Tuesday, July 4th. And as usual, we're going to go through each of the different sets of creatures, what you're able to dart, and what we suggest you go for. So on Wednesday and Thursday, we get 27 attempts at the commons. We have Dracorex Gen 2, which is a global anytime. Parasaurus Gen 2, which is a local 2, Day Dawn Dusk, and Sinosauropteryx, which is a local 3, anytime. I think, as we usually say with the commons, just go for what you need. Um, Dracorex Gen 2 is global, you can find it anywhere, so maybe if you're needing the Parasaurus Gen 2 DNA or the Sinosauropteryx DNA, go for one of those two, especially if you haven't seen that particular local in a while. Otherwise, just dart what you need and save up that DNA that you might need for catalysts as well. On Friday and Saturday, we have two different sets of creatures we're going to get to dart. We have 12 attempts at epics. We have a Daphosaurus, which is a park dawn day dusk. Giganotosaurus, which is an exclusive. Rajasaurus, which is a local two anytime. And Compsognathus, which is a local one anytime. I definitely think Giganotosaurus is going to be the best option with the epics. We always say go for the exclusive creature, and Giganotosaurus is exclusive. Uh, we are just now finishing up the pursuit for this one. Um, so, you know, if you've got more of that DNA, great. But I still think that's the best one to go for. On Friday and Saturday, we also get two attempts at legendary creatures. We have Alloraptor, which is Delta and Allosaurus Gen 2 hybrid, and that fuses into Allod Regas, Triostronix, which is a hybrid of Baryonyx and Postimetrodon, and that fuses into Giganix, and Edaphosivia, which is a hybrid of Enostrancivia and Edaphosaurus, and that fuses into Albertasivia. I think of the three, Alloraptor and Edaphosivia could be the better two options. Alloraptor is not bad. It's, it's a pretty good creature. It doesn't have a very bad hybrid. Edaphosivia, I think Albertasivia has a little bit of a better hybrid just um, over uh, Alloraptor, just because it, it is still very usable as a swap in creature. But Alloraptor also has a exclusive ingredient in Allosaurus Gen 2. So I think one of those two, either Alloraptor or Daphosivia or both, would be your best options for the legendary. On Sunday, we are going to get one attempt at one, one of two unique creatures. We have Thordolosaur, or Thor as everyone likes to call it, and that is a hybrid of Allosinosaurus and Tarbosaurus. And then we have Ceratosaurus, which is an exclusive, non-hybrid, unique. Definitely go for the Ceratosaurus. It's exclusive, you can't dart it, you can't fuse it, it is the only time you're going to see it is in events, so definitely go out there and dart that while you can. While you're out darting your uniques, you're also going to get three attempts at Diabloceratops, which is an Omega creature. So it is a short range anytime, usually. There is a limit per week. We have never gotten any official word from Ludia on what that limit is, uh, but we believe um, it is six. So we have Diabloceratops, which is a short range anytime Omega. Three attempts, definitely get out there and dart um, all three of those if you uh, need it, uh, just because Omega are so new to the game um, and there is a limit per week. So you're going to want to um, get more attempts if you can. On Monday and Tuesday, we get 24 attempts at rares. We have Warasaurus, which is a local to day dawn dusk, Caprasuchus, which is a global night dawn dusk, Tyrannosaurus Rex Gen 2, which is a global day dawn dusk and Baryonyx Gen 2, which is a local to anytime. Honestly, with the rare, I would say go for what you need. I think Caprasuchus is often a little bit more difficult for people to dart, um, especially since it's a night exclusive, a night dawn dusk, and that might be something that is more difficult for people to go out and hunt for. Otherwise, if you were working on any of the hybrids or if you were working on a specific creature just to have at a high level or for tournaments or whatever the case might be, just dart what you want on the rares. All of the themed for the week is also also going to be North America week. Um, we also have a Tyrannosaurus 
Gen 2 strike event on Wednesday. We have a Pyroraptor strike on Friday. We have a Giganotosaurus strike on Sunday, and then we have a Lystrosaurus strike on Tuesday. We also have catalysts on Saturday. There's, there's a chance to get silver catalyst, and on Tuesday you can get some bronze catalysts um, in these strike events for those days as well, so make sure to get out and do those. And then it looks like there's some sort of special coin chase or um, special event on Sunday as well. And then, of course, all of the DNA that's available in the strikes are also going to be available. Uh, the same DNA that you will find under the um, supply drops. There is also a special scent on Thursday and Monday scent strike. Feathers and fireworks scent. Um, so look out for that and, you know, see if that's going to be the same as what we had last year. We are working on a new pursuit coming up. We're going to have the Lystrosuchus pursuit and the first creature of the Lystrosuchus pursuit is going to be Ineosaurus. Ineosaurus is normally a dawn dusk creature. Um, it is a common, uh, it honestly, you know, it's pretty easy to look for and find, but it is something you will see all day, all the time in all zones. We are rounding out the final tournament of the month. We have a common, rare, epic, legendary, and omega all advantage. And the reward is going to be Consignathus Gen 2 and Beta DNA. So good luck to everyone in that tournament. Once again, it is the last tournament of this specific Alliance Championship. We like to put out a friendly reminder about the Alliance Championship. Usually the rewards are available two hours after the uh, reset on Monday. So that would be 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And how that works is you have to be in your alliance in order to claim the rewards. And you have to be in the same alliance that you were in when the actual tournament ended. When the alliance championship is done, you have to still be in your alliance in order to claim your alliance incubator for this alliance championship. We always like to make sure people know that. So if you were going to be moving to another alliance for whatever reason, um, that happens a lot around the end of the championship time period, make sure you collect your rewards before you move on. Because if you were out of your alliance before you collect your rewards, you will not get those rewards. If you jump to another alliance, you will not get those rewards. So make sure you collect your rewards before you leave. There is going to be a game press article with all of this fantastic information in it that's going to outline all the different creatures and what we suggested art. So make sure you check that out. Included in that article is a link to 50 in game hard cash for free. All you have to do is click the link, it's going to take you in game, and you will get 50 hard cash in game for free. This YouTube also has a cash link that will come out on Wednesday, so make sure to check out all of the videos that will be coming out on that day. And one of those videos will have a cash link to once again click the link, take you in game, and it's 50 in game hard cash. They are two separate cash links, so you can claim both of them once a week. So make sure you are clicking that subscribe button so that way you don't miss any of the fantastic videos and content they have coming out. And thanks for listening, y'all.